Let me step back to neural networks for, for, for another brief minute. You wrote parallel distributed processing books that explored ideas of neural networks in the 1980s, together with a few folks, but the books you wrote with uh, David uh, Rommel Hart, who is the first author on the backpropagation paper, which you have Hinton. So these are just some figures at the time that were thinking about these big ideas. Uh, what are some memorable moments of discovery and beautiful ideas from those early days? I'm gonna start uh, sort of with my own process in the mid 70s mm -hmm. and then into the late 70s when I met Jeff Hinton and uh, he came to San Diego and we were all together. Um, in my time in graduate school, as I've already described to you, I had this sort of feeling of, okay, I'm really interested in human cognition, but this disembodied sort of way of thinking about it that I'm getting from the current mode of thought about it is, isn't working fully for me. And when I got my assistant professorship, I went to UCSD, and um, that was in 1974. Something amazing had just happened. Dave Rommel Hart had written a book together with another man named Don Norman, and the book was called Explorations in Cognition. And it was a, a series of chapters exploring interesting questions about cognition but in a completely sort of abstract, you know, non-biological kind of way. And I'm saying, gee, this is amazing. I'm coming to this community where people can get together and feel like they've collectively exploring, you know, ideas. And um, it was a book that had a lot of, I don't know, lightness to it. And, you know, the, the Don Norman, who was the the more senior figure to Rommelhart at that time who led that project, um, you know, cre always created this spirit of playful exploration of ideas. And so I'm like, wow, this is great. But I was also, you know, still trying to get from the neurons to the to the cognition. And I realized at one point, I, I, I got this opportunity to go to a conference where I heard a talk by a man named James Anderson, who was an engineer, but by then a professor in a psychology department who had used linear algebra to create neural network models of perception and categorization and memory. And I just blew me out of the water that one could you know, create a model that was simulating neurons, not just kind of engaged in a stepwise algorithmic process that was construed abstractly. But it was simulating remembering and recalling and um, recognizing the prior occurrence of a stimulus or something like that. So for me, this was a bridge between the mind and the brain. And I just like, and I, I remember I was walking across campus one day in 1977 and I almost felt like St. Paul on the road to Damascus. I said to myself, you know, if I think about the mind in terms of a neural network, it will help me answer the questions about the mind that I'm trying to answer. And that really excited me. So, I think that a lot of people were becoming excited about that. And one of those people was Jim Anderson, who I had mentioned. Another one was Steve Grossberg, who had been uh, writing about neural networks since the 60s. And Jeff Hinton was yet another. And his PhD dissertation showed up uh, in an applicant pool to a postdoctoral training program that Dave and Don, the two men I mentioned before, Rommelhart and, and Norman, were administering. And Rommelhart got really excited about Hinton's PhD dissertation. Um, and so 
uh, Hinton was one of the first um, people who came and joined this group of postdoctoral scholars uh, that uh, was funded by this this wonderful grant that they got. Another one who is also well known in neural network circus, uh, circles is Paul Smolensky. He was another one of that group. Anyway, um, Jeff and Jim Anderson organized a conference at UCSD uh, where we, we were, and uh, it was called Parallel Models of Associative Memory, and it brought all the people together who had been thinking about these kinds of ideas in 1979 or 1980. And this, this began to kind of really resonate with some of Rommel Hart's um, own thinking, some of his reasons for wanting something other than the kinds of computation he'd been doing so far. 